Panorama TV presents Digital Photography One-on-One, -on -One, where we answer your questions. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everyone, I'm Mark Wallace. Welcome to another episode of Digital Photography One-on-One. -on -One. In a previous episode, I said something that confused a few people. I was talking about aperture values. I said a small aperture value is a large aperture opening. And I got a lot of email about that, and I think the email from Raquel sums it up best. Raquel wrote, I'm confused about aperture values. Why is f2.8 a large aperture opening, and f22 a small aperture opening? That seems backwards to me. Can you give us a better explanation? Well, Raquel, aperture values can be confusing at first. To understand what aperture values are, let's first take a look at the aperture itself. The aperture is found in your camera's lens, not in the camera body. And the aperture determines the amount of light that passes through the lens. The aperture does this by changing its size. The aperture can have a small opening or a large opening. And you can actually see that in this lens. OK, well, now that you know what the aperture looks like, Let's start to look at the numbers on some lenses and then explore what they mean. Lenses are described by their focal length and aperture values. This lens is an 85 millimeter 1.2. 85 millimeters is the focal length and the 1.2 is the widest aperture value of the lens. I'll explain what the one colon means in a minute. The focal length always comes first, followed by the aperture value. Now, sometimes the numbers are given in a range. For example, this lens is a 70 to 200 millimeter 2.8. If the focal length is a range, it means that the lens is a zoom lens. It zooms from 70 to 200 millimeters. Well, sometimes the aperture is also shown in a range. So here's a lens. This is a 70 to 300 millimeter 4.5 to 5.6 lens. The 70 to 300 millimeter part is easy to understand. You know, it's a zoom lens that zooms from 70 to 300 millimeters. But what is the 4.5 to 5.6 part? You know, why do some lenses give one widest aperture value and others give a range? Well, let me explain how aperture value is determined and then things will make sense. Yes, okay, I know, I know. I know there's a bit of math to this, but it's easy math. And math is fun, right? OK, well, let's dig in. One thing that's important to understand is that f2.8, or f22, is an equation. The f stands for focal length. So f2.8 it actually means focal length divided by 2.8. And f22 means focal length divided by 22. That's why the small aperture value is a large opening. Think about sharing a pizza with friends. If you invited one friend to share a pizza with you, the slices would be large because you'd just be dividing by two. But if you were sharing that exact same pizza with 22 friends, the slices would be much smaller. So remember, a small number means a large opening, and a big number means a small opening. OK, now let's dig a bit deeper. If you look closely, you'll see that there is a one with a colon before the aperture values on your lens. That one means that the aperture value is a ratio. It's a ratio between the focal length of your lens and the size of the aperture. Now let's walk through it. F22 or F2.8 is an equation where F equals focal length. Now for the math. I'm going to make up some numbers just to keep things simple. So remember, I'm just making up these numbers. They're not real. We're just trying to keep things simple. Now let's say we have a lens that's 100 millimeters with an aperture value of 2. That would be written as f2. Now if we replace the f with our focal length, we'd get 100 divided by 2. And the result of this equation is 50. 100 is the focal length, 2 is the aperture value, and 50 is the aperture opening. That means that the opening in the aperture is 50 millimeters wide. 100 millimeters divided by 2 equals 50 millimeters. Now let's say that our focal length is 200 millimeters. Our lens is now twice as long. Now f2 would equal 100 millimeters. Again, let's do the math. f equals 200 millimeters, which is our focal length. 
200 millimeters divided by two equals 100 millimeters. So the opening in our aperture would be 100 millimeters. So that tells us that f2 for a 100 millimeter lens is not the same as f2 for a 200 millimeter lens. The ratio is the same, but the sizes of the openings are different. Well, let's pretend we had a zoom lens that had a zoom range of 100 to 200 millimeters. Let's also pretend that the widest the aperture could open was 50 millimeters. If the aperture was all the way open and our lens was zoomed at 100 millimeters, the aperture value would be f2. Well, how do we know? Let's do the math. 100 divided by 50 equals 2. Or we can use the formula I showed you before. Focal length divided by 2 equals 50. Now what happens if we take this lens and zoom it to 200 millimeters? Since the aperture can't open any wider, that means our aperture value has changed because the ratio is no longer 1 to 2. Let's figure out the math and see what it is. 200 divided by 50 equals 4. Therefore, the aperture value is now f4, or a ratio of 1 to 4. Now, if we bought this fictitious lens, it would have a label that said 100 to 200 millimeters, 1, 2 to 4. The ratio between the focal length and the size of the aperture opening does not remain constant as the lens zooms. Because the ratio isn't constant, the aperture value isn't constant either. Now, this is very common on consumer lenses because it costs more to make a zoom lens that has a constant aperture value. Now, if we wanted our fictitious lens to have a constant aperture value, that would mean that the aperture would have to get larger as our lens zoomed. The aperture would have to grow from 50 millimeters wide to 100 millimeters wide as our lens zoomed from 100 millimeters to 200 millimeters. It would also mean that our 200 millimeter long lens would have to be 100 millimeters high. And that is a huge lens and it would be very, very expensive and almost impossible to make. Now let's review. The aperture value is a measurement of the size of the hole that the light passes through in the rear of the lens, otherwise known as the aperture, relative to the focal length of the lens. So a small f number is a large opening, and a large f number is a small opening. Well, congratulations, you survived a few minutes of math. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. But remember, if you have a photography-related question, you can send it to me at askmark at adorama.com. I'll see you next time. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.